I've been feeling a little burnt out on Assassin's Creed as of late, but I just saw a really cool alpha build of Assassin's Creed Syndicate, and I feel like I'm on board again because there's so much happening that I'm trying to wrap my mind around. So first of all, where are we in time? So we are in London in 1868, right at the end of the Industrial Revolution. Great, because with the Industrial Revolution comes a lot of really cool things, like a revolver, so we're getting to get to use a revolver now as an assassin. Absolutely, there's more gunplay in Assassin's Creed Syndicate than there ever was on the brand and it really feels fresh and new to have these revolvers in the game and we've completely revamped all the free aiming to make it a really satisfying element for our players to enjoy. It's not just a revolver though, we have new weapons here that we're getting to make use of, so tell me about them. So the player will be able to fight with brass knuckles, with a kukri knife, and with a sword cane that we'll talk more about throughout the summer. But those are really brutal weapons for the player to use in our revamped combat system. What was it about the Industrial Revolution that was so appealing to you guys as developers? For me, we need to modernize the brand, both in terms of gameplay and in the way we do storytelling. And there's no better place than the Industrial Revolution to do it because it was such an age of marvel and technological breakthroughs that enable us to change the game for players. One of the things that's super cool that happens during the Industrial Revolution is that Charles Darwin publishes the theory of evolution. And this is just one of the things that the player will be able to glimpse at, at in this era of transformation for humanity. While we often refer to the UK as one of the first parliamentary democracy, well, if you go back to these years, only 5% of the population had the right to vote, and women were completely excluded. So it will be interesting to put our players into this world of inequalities and wonders at the same time. So they're fighting the good fight, but it's not just one assassin here, there are two, and they're twins. Mind blown. So how are we going to get to control these two? So the player will be able to play as Jacob and Evie Fry, two assassins that were born and raised that way. In the main storyline, they each have their own story that the player will get to experience. But when you get to the open world, this is where you can choose between playing as Jacob or as Evie. And as a player, you'll be able to invest on both of them, both in terms of skill tree and in terms of the equipment that they have. The city will really feel different for our players. There will be seven boroughs for the player to explore, each one very different from the other ones. The player will grow to master and dominate the city through the street gangs. So all the criminality of this world is something that the player will need to master borough by borough, slum by slum, and install the gang that we call the Rooks throughout the city. He robbed me. <laughs> of what, precisely? What do you have to say to all those people out there that are kind of tried out on Assassin's Creed? We've gotten one every single year, plus the extra Assassin's Creed games that come after the main one. I know of no other brand in the video game industry that innovates as much as Assassin's Creed. We have new heroes, we have new eras, and this year with the Industrial Revolution, it will really, really feel different.